everyone. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here with this live class today. It's Monday, so that is full body stretch. So welcome everyone again, and I hope you're having a great morning so far. Um, my name is Rebecca Zostek. I'm a certified health coach, personal trainer, and fitness instructor here at our beautiful Hope Health Center in Foothill Ranch, California with our lifestyle program. So today we're going to be going through a 30 minute, just a little under 30 minute, of full body stretch. And in this uh, workout today, we are going to need, of course, a comfy mat. So here's a great tip. Um, if you don't have a comfy mat, a thick mat, you can layer a couple of mats. I know sometimes people don't have more than one mat um, because they are, you know, take a little bit of space. But what you can do is uh, use a blanket underneath your mat, kind of fold it over so it's a little thick and padded, and put your mat on top of that. Um, also, I have uh, always in this class a couple of yoga blocks. So I can show you some variations if we are a little bit tight, don't have that full range quite yet. The blocks really do help you uh, support the position so that you're able to keep a good technique, keep your spine in proper alignment and so on. Um, I also use a strap in this uh, workout today, um, just about every week uh, actually. And the strap um, does help with, uh, you know, working towards a full range stretch. It's a very supportive tool. Um, if you don't have a strap, uh, you can always use a leather belt, a robe belt, a towel, anything that you can hold on to that's going to allow your, uh, your stretch to kind of incorporate larger ranges of motion. Okay, so good morning. I hope you had a great weekend and I have a few of you with me right now. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome to take your shoes off if you'd like, get comfy, make sure your body is warm, stay, uh, you know, warm with some uh, sweatshirts, sweats, whatever you want to wear. Okay, everyone, let's get started with a nice warm up. And here we go. Get some music going on. Right here, hold here. Let's bring it forward. 
flat back. And right back up. So we're, our aim is the flat back. We're not quite there yet right now. It's okay. Here we go.
let's come on down. You're gonna place your right hand on the blocks. Go a little bit wider with your legs. Good. Take your left arm up for a nice big chest opener stretch. Let's hold it here. Coming back center, bend the legs. Rolling up, all the way. And coming back down. Other side. Reach 
reaching up and over your head. And now taking the legs nice and long. Let your body just relax as much as possible into the mat. Nice deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. If the arms aren't as flexible to go over your head, you can bring them to your sides. Okay, now let's take the left foot, place it on the mat, bent leg. The right knee, you're going to bring it into your chest. Hold it in nice and tight. Let's pull up the head up towards the knee. Nice tight little ball there and coming right back down. Changing legs. Nice big inhale. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up towards that knee and hold it. And down slow. And now you're going to grab onto both knees. Both knees come into the chest. Hold it here. Nice big inhale. Exhale, lift the head up towards those knees. Shoulders off your mat. And coming right back down. Good job. Arms release. Let's bring the knees down. Dropping both knees to one side. Uh, we love this stretch right here. So great for the lower back. If you have sciatica, it's getting through the hip. Pulling up that top knee now. You're going to pull the top knee up towards your left shoulder. We're just going to press on it a little bit more here. Hold that stretch. You can stay right here if you'd like to, or we can try extending the leg straight out now and pressing gently. This stretch in particular really helps to release that hip, really tight muscles all through the hips and the lower back. Hold press. Four, three, two, one, and bring the knee back or the leg back. Both feet flat. Oh, that was a really nice one. Let's try the other side, everybody. So dropping both knees down to the other side. Now, remember in this position, we don't want to turn the upper body. So we're still facing um, the top, the ceiling right here. Let's kind of work into that stretch. You can always stay right here if this is good enough. We're going to bring that top knee up a little higher and press down if, you, if you'd like to. Pressing that knee down. So we're already starting to feel the work loosening up through the hips. And now if you'd like to go ahead and extend the leg, you're going to let it just fall to the side, keeping your chest facing the ceiling. You should really feel that. Hold that stretch right there. Good work. Loosening up those hips and now bringing it back, coming back to the center. Pull one knee up. You're going to roll yourself up very gently, slowly. Okay. All right, everyone, I'm going to have you turning over, coming into a child's pose position. We're just going to turn that music down just a little bit more, okay? So just stay right there. Okay. So coming into that child's pose stretch now, continuing with that up, uh, lower back. So big toes are together. Open up the knees. Slide your hands forward. And we're really trying to press the chest down towards the mat. Okay, so just stretching right here. Also, this is such a nice stretch for your lats, okay? All through this section of your upper back. Sliding your hands back towards your knees, coming up. And now from here, now let me show you first because for some people this might not be a doable stretch. You can use a block or two behind you to help support. So 
So we're gonna bring the hands back, lift the hips just a little bit. So we get those quads, hip flexors. You can turn your hands this way, actually. From this position, though, we don't wanna drop the head, okay? So keep ourselves safe. And just keep that chin tucked down. And you should be feeling that stretch all through these quadricep muscles, okay? Both legs. So here we go, we're gonna hold it here. These blocks really come into play really nicely. Good, and coming back down. Here we go, going back forward into child's pose stretch. Really nice lat stretch, lower back. Good, and release. Let's come on to all fours at this point. We want the heels of the hands right underneath your shoulders, tabletop position. And now to work on the middle back region, you want to try to pull that belly up nice and high, round out your entire upper middle back, tuck the chin in. Good. And from here, we're just going to rock back into the hinge, coming back forward. And arch out. Oh, we have our little cat dog, cat bird, bird dog. <laughs> All kinds of things we can call this. But here we go. Nice stretch again. Hinge back. Nice and smooth and gentle long arms. And coming back. And now we bring the chest up. Arch through the back. Here, we're going to pull the right foot forward. And here, if you'd like to use a block or two, you can do that as well. I'll show you modifications. So I'm gonna keep the block in front of me here. I'm gonna scoop my right foot forward. And again, depending on your flexibility, if you don't need the block and your arms, your hands are low to the ground right here, or your arms are low, you know, depending on your level, you can bring yourself as high or as low as you need to, okay? So what a great stretch we have right here. Not only in the adductors, but we have a little bit of the hamstrings and the glutes stretching um, in this lunge position. So let's hold it here, as well as your back leg, the hip flexor and the quadriceps. So wow, what a great stretch we have here. Okay, one of my favorites. We're gonna hold it here for a moment. Just some more tips. And if you are in this position and you need a little bit more support for your back knee, you could put a towel back there or you can fold the edge of your mat so your back knee has a little more comfort. Okay. So here we go. We're going to come down now a little bit further if possible. Coming down a little bit further, everybody. Okay. We want to make sure that right foot is far up ahead, far up enough. Okay, so you're really able to open up the hips a little bit more. The knee is in alignment with the bow of your shoelace or the top of your foot. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale slow. I'm going to come up onto my hands and shift back to straighten out the leg. forward. Let's do that one more time and exhale back. Good. And coming forward, I'm going to slide my uh, block back a little bit. Now, if you'd like to stay right here, you can, or I'm going to progress now and come up into a full lunge. So the back foot needs to curl under. So the toes will allow me to lift up. And here we go, into that full lunge position. Now, my front foot is a little too far up now, so I need to pull it back a little bit. You know, make those adjustments if you need to. Everybody good? You find the right place? Stay here. And exhale back. And come back down. Now 
again, the modification, you were just holding it down, repeating that part that we just did. Exhale back. Good. Coming back to center. Woo. And slowly bringing the back knee down. Okay, I'm going to pivot towards the front and come up into a straddle stretch. So here we come up into a straddle stretch right here, just like we did a little earlier, but we're going to go into this a little deeper now. So here we go, everybody. You're down into that straddle stretch. Come on down. Stretch those hammies. And coming up. Okay, bend your legs. Rolling up. Ooh, get those legs a little bit of a break. Grab some water if you need to. Let's get down now into the other side. So we're coming back down. Now see if I can remember everything that we did here. Okay, well we're gonna first start in that modified position. Okay, so here we go. Driving that back foot a little bit further back so you're gonna feel that flexor stretch. Wanna make sure the knee's not flexing over the toes. Okay, so we want to make sure that alignment is proper. I'm just going to hold it here for a moment. Keep that chest lifted. Okay. <sighs> Perhaps you had a, an active weekend, right? Maybe you did some bike riding, hiking, or running. Now this is such a great opportunity to take some time to do these stretches with me. We uh, work on loosening up those muscles and developing a more, you know, larger range of motion. Come on down if that's uh, possible for you. Okay, make an adjustment with that leg. Hold that stretch. Don't stretch that. 
that region. Well, we did a little bit in the beginning with those side reaches, but now we're gonna have you use the strap if you do have the strap available. And we're just gonna do some rotational stretches, okay? So we're working on that core strength as well. So you're gonna take your strap as just something that provides you with leverage, okay? Keeping your arms nice and long. Let's start with the legs slightly bent. Open up the chest. Bring your arms out in front of you with that strap. And all we're gonna do now, I want you to imagine, first of all, that you are submerged in cement, okay? From the hip bones down. So nothing can move from your hip bones down, only through your abdominal region, right? The obliques for rotation. All right, here we are. And you're gonna rotate, oh, all of a sudden, yep, that's tough. Hold and stretch, pulling a little bit more. Relax your shoulders, everyone. <sighs> Breathing. How far can you go back? Coming back to the center and down. Not as easy as it looks, right? Okay, let's try the other side. Coming up, bend your legs, submerge in cement, can't move. And rotating, 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 more and more and more stretch. It's like you're uh, bringing out a wet towel right here. Stretching, hold. Good. Coming back center and down. And now we're going to do um, a nice big round circle, okay? So what we're going to do is you're going to come up with your arms and watch here, watch here. I'm going to turn my body, keeping my arms nice and long and straight, and then rotating around, coming right back to center, okay? So let's do three circles going towards your left. Bend your legs and stretch right here, pulling your arms straight and long. Relax, 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 and all the way up. Stop. Again, here we go. And down, keeping those arms nice and long. What a full body stretch right here. Get the legs, the core, the arms. Good. One more time. Ready?